Welcome back everyone to another wonderful session of amazing world of science and uh, I am your science teacher. So, today we are going to start uh, chapter 2 as its basis on solves from NCERT class 10. So, this is a very important lesson because you are going to learn all the basics about uh, assets, basis and salts and you should be very thorough with the concepts for this lesson. So, already you have learned in your previous classes that uh, sour and bitter tastes of food are due to acids and bases. You know certain food tastes bitter, certain food tastes sour like you know uh, lemon that tastes bitter and uh, most uh, many food uh, you know you can uh, detect the taste difference in them because of the presence of acids and bases. So, if someone in the family is suffering from a problem of acidity after overeating, you know, uh, maybe you eat a lot, uh, you know, when you go outside to a hotel or something, and suppose you are uh, suffering from acidity problem, you know, about gas formation in your stomach, then how would you, uh, uh, you know, uh, cure it or what is the remedy for that? So, uh, Will you have consume lemon or uh, lemon juice or vinegar or baking soda solution? Which one you will have? Because you know if you have the problem of acidity you, acidity, you cannot consume lemon juice because it contains citric acid and vinegar also contains acid and baking soda is a base. So, to neutralize acidity you can consume base or you can have some base and you can also consume or have you know many uh, you know uh, Medi medic medicines are there for uh, gastric problems. So, antacids you can consume for the gas formation in your stomach that will cure it. But mostly in order to uh, nullify the effect of acids, uh, it is neutralized by base. Now, we will learn more about the reactions of acids, bases and all that. And this is uh, just we are talking about the introduction of the lesson. Okay, now which property did you think while choosing the remedy? And uh, you must use your knowledge about the ability that just what I said about the acids and bases to nullify each other's effect. What is meant by nullify cancel each other's effect? And recall how we tasted sour and bitter substances without tasting them. Even without tasting them, you can uh, test sour and bitter substances. Okay. So already you know that acids are sour in taste and uh, how can you identify them? They change the color of blue litmus to red. Very important point, all of you. Just remember this. Acids change blue to red. Okay, don't get confused. Bases are bitter and they change the color of red litmus to blue. So, acid changes blue litmus to red and bases change red litmus to blue. Just remember that. And litmus is a natural indicator. And another natural indicator is turmeric. Okay. And uh, you know, suppose uh, if uh, while you are eating some curry fall on white cloth uh, which you are wearing, that becomes reddish brown when you uh, add or uh, when you rub it with soap which is basic in nature while it is scrubbed and it turns yellow again when the cloth is washed with plenty of water. Also you can use synthetic indicators, Synth synthetic indi indicators means man-made uh, indicators like methyl orange phenolphthalein these are the most commonly used indicators to test for acids and bases you can find it in your chemistry lab so here in this lesson what we are going to study you are going to study the reactions of acids and bases how acids and bases cancel out each other's effect and so many interesting things which we use and see in our day-to-day -day life okay so this is very important uh, part of the lesson we are going to learn about the various reactions and uh, uh, so many things here are the basics only if you follow this you will be finding your lessons for class 11 and 12 very easy. Now first we will try to understand the chemical properties of acids and bases we will just quickly go through the chemical properties of acids and bases ok. So, uh, what you can do is uh, you collect some samples from science labor laboratory like hydrochloric acid, HCl, sulfuric acid, H2SO4, nitric acid, HNO3, acetic acid that's, that is an organic acid CH3COOH. Then NaOH all these are bases calcium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide, ammonium hydroxide and all that and you put uh, a drop of each of the above solutions to a watch glass and test 
with a drop of indicators. Uh, see here various indicators, sample solution, red litmus, blue litmus, phenophthalein, methyl orange, all these are indicators. Then these indicators tell whether a substance is acidic or basic by change in color. So there are some substances whose order also change depending upon basic or acidic media which we call as olfactory indicators. Okay. And uh, olfactory indicators and all that uh, uh, vanilla, onion, all these uh, with the smell itself you can say. Uh, so you can see that vanilla, onion, clove, these are all used as olfactory indicators on the, uh, see uh, you can also just try these uh, indicators would be at your home, you can just smell and see. Okay, And uh, uh, out of these uh, you all know which substances are used as olfactory indicators that is by the smell itself we can uh, see the change of order. Now we will do certain activities uh, to understand the chemical properties of acids and bases. So how do acids and bases react with metal? So for that we have a small activity like uh, you have to take 5 ml of dilute sulfuric acid in a test tube. Okay, 5 ml of dilute HCl in a test tube and uh, uh, dilute sulfuric acid not HCl. You take some dilute sulfuric acid in a test tube and add a few pieces of zinc granules okay, that you can get in your lab. And uh, you can pass the gas when you uh, add it uh, gas will be formed. So uh, you have to pass it and then uh, the other end of it is kept in a beaker containing soap solution and you bring a burning candle here. Okay. And uh, what can you see? You can repeat this experiment instead of sulfuric acid with more acids like HCl, HNO3 and all that. And uh, if uh, you know hydrogen gas is formed here, so you can hear a pop sound because of the formation of hydrogen, or hydrogen gas. And you can see that uh, soap also bubbles, soap bubbles here filled with hydrogen will be formed. So reaction of zinc granules with dilute sulfuric acid and testing gas, hydrogen which is formed that is a very important part of the chemical reaction. So, we will just see what happens uh, in the above reaction. See that metal in the above reaction, it will displace hydrogen from the acid. So, zinc is the metal, it will displace hydrogen from sulfuric acid. This is seen as hydrogen gas. So, the metal combines with acid, it forms a compound called salt and at the same time hydrogen gas will be evolved. You can summarize the reactions like acid plus metal will give you salt plus hydrogen gas. So, the reaction which taken uh, take place you know you have got another activity here take a few piece of uh, zinc uh, metal in a test tube and add sodium hydroxide solution and warm it and uh, what will happen repeat the rest of the steps in uh, like in the previous activity and record your observations. You can see that when a base react with metal see zinc sodium zincate what is it? Na2 is a done O2 plus hydrogen gas. Again you can see that hydrogen gas is formed in the reaction, but all uh, such reactions uh, hydrogen uh, it is not possible for the with all the metals such reactions or formation of hydrogen cannot happen. In our next class we will learn about how do metal carbonates and metal hydrogen carbonates uh, react with acid. Meanwhile you read this portion thoroughly and uh, do like, share and subscribe uh, to our channel Amazing World of Science and uh, we will be uploading NCRT line by line uh, mainly from uh, class 9 and class 10 and in between we will be also doing for class 8 and uh, watch uh, these uh, classes carefully and uh, revise the portions well and uh, do share the channel with your friends. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.